Hey, what up Long Beach? Welcome back to the 562.org. It's Eli. And JJ, this high school football video is brought to you by the fine folks down at Naples Rib Company and all of our football coverage is sponsored by Memorial Care. Thanks to all of our sponsors. Being at Clark Field calls for talking about it being the new Clark Field, and this is their first time hosting a playoff game. It's Raul Lara in his ground game. It's Elijah Lolasia Pua in a stacked running back room alongside junior Jojo Apisila. Yeah, they got their work cut out against this to quiz offense that uh, also tried to run the ball. I mean, it's the playoffs. What else is new? On the Saints opening drive, they're going to get straight to those guys to run the football. It's Apisela for the first down. Then ELP out of the backfield for the catch and run. That's going to leave us at fourth and one. And we already have some drama here, JJ. They're going to measure out to see if they got the first down. And they do. Adrian Perez is going to show off the arm. Hitting uh, JLP there inside the 10-yard line. Setting up the big guy, JoJo. He's going to break through for the four-yard touchdown. The two-point conversion is good. Saints up early. 8-0. Setting the tone. You're going to see a lot of run plays in this video, folks. And it's not just from the Saints because right to the run game is Takeets. Also looking to get the run game going with DJ Bryant to start his big day. Then a little bit of shift, a little bit of confusion there on the right side. Raul Lara knows how the shift works, though. It's how he beat St. John Bosco in 2012. It's still simple, though. It's just straight to Bryant. That's the formula. Then around the outside, it's his counterpart, David Tony, from seven yards out. They will take the extra point instead of the two-point conversion, and they are trailing 8-7. That'll loom large later in the game. So it's AP with a little trickeration. It's a run-pass option, but let's be honest, it was a run-run option. It is three, getting loose, getting a big gain for the Saints. However, a penalty pushed them back, so he's got to drop back and pass, and there's nothing there. AP going to get taken down. Looks like he's back there for the pooch punt, and it's a beauty. How about putting it down on the Taquitos three-yard line? Yeah, and it's the Tikeets offense trying to get right back to it, too, as they're going to go to the ground, this time to Tony. Then on this next play, it's going to be Bryant. He's not a pawn. He's a queen. He can move laterally, up and down. He can move anywhere on the field that he wants, JJ. You got to protect that piece, Eli, most, most importantly. That kid's showing out, and then it's going to be Tony again to the one-yard line, and then... When you get to the one yard line, there's just one play to run, JJ. It's, it's, the, the, it's, it's the same push. play. Brotherly shove, the tush push. I, you gotta from, run it. From an Eagle fan, you were so excited when they got up for that tush push, weren't you? I mean, it's Cowboys week, JJ. You okay, got to. that's <laughs> enough. On the Titans' next drive, they run the screen play on third down to face a fourth down and 10 at their own 10. And they go for it, and what? they get it. <laughs> what? They move the chains on a run. That's a lot of confidence right there. A lot of guts in that play. And then you're gonna have Bryant coming back again. They were confident for a reason, JJ, because Bryant can break out runs like this, and it's a 59-yard touchdown, 21-8 to to keep leads. Yeah, the, what a message that coaching staff sent. Oh, fourth on our own 10? Let's go for it. Not shocked that they were confident enough to score a touchdown a few plays later. So the Saints get the ball one more time before half, looking to chip away at the lead. It's Christian Martin. It's all yellow, and he's going on for a third and three here, and AP going to take off. With the baseball slide, I thought the baseball field was on the other part of Clark. He's sliding field. towards it, JJ. Okay, that's fair. But that's before dropping back for this moon ball over to Martin for the 22 yard touchdown. Tippy this is toe. Just one foot is all you need, JJ, and he got that in. It's going to be 21 15 and a half, just what they needed to chip at that lead. Then on the opening drive of the second half, Taquitos and Sauce, Daniel Mendoza getting it started to Johnny Johnson out there. Then it seems like a pretty easy touchdown at the one, right? But Raymond Gomez had other plans, drops the shoulder, and his teammates are swarming around that ball. Saints pounce on it. This is just the turnover they needed down one score, JJ. Gomez with the super duper play at the goal line. Laura continues to commit to that running attack. Why not? AP gets loose, and then it's ELP on the other side. They're out here near the 40 yard line. Then it's going to be ELP again with a run up the gut to set up Apisala. He set him up all day long, Apisala, from 25 yards out. He can't be denied, JJ. It's 22-21 after being down 21-8. Apisala reaching over, and he's in. What a cut to the outside and find the pylon by Ader. That is nice. However, on the very next play, it is the Titans and Bryant again. Ground the outside. Flags flying the play for unsportsmanlike, but that's one heck of a run from the Titans running back after the ensuing kickoff. The kid's just good, JJ, and that's the queen. They're hoping that they put the Saints in checkmate on that one. Yeah, but the thing about checkmate is it's, uh, it's, it's never until the opponent says it's okay. And the Saints are saying it's not okay. How about AP out there to JLP for the catch inside the 20-yard line? Then it's AP running around the outside, around the outside, down to the 12-yard line. You, you see what's coming. 
Then rolling out right AP, looking right to JLP. You looked at him earlier in the 50-50 ball. Go up and get it. What? When you walk the walk, you could talk the talk, and that's going to be a flag, but might be worth it. I can't believe he stole that ball right there. What a catch from Lucky 13. Right back the other way, though, in the fourth. The Titans respond and scores Mendoza getting in there to the end zone. And the, all aspects of the running game are showing tonight. This is just, this is old school playoff football. Eat your heart out. He's a little banged up, but he's good. He's a tough guy. And that leaves six minutes for the Saints to get a drive of their own going. What would They're they gonna, do, Eli? Uh, uh, maybe Apisala, <laughs> maybe ELP, one of the two, or both of them. Or all of them. But on the fourth down, they're going to look Apisala's way, and he's able to keep the drive alive for them as they need everything they can get right now. Then back to ELP for this run, taking down the clock, setting up for another third down for Apisala tripped up but not before getting the first down jj that was huge it's a game of inches and then as always inside the 10 it's elp kind of setting it up and then being unselfish right right and then apisala bouncing off defenders it's 35 34 lead with just 46 seconds remaining jj what a drive that is incredible just no panic at all and then on the kickoff the saints able to pin him inside the 10 Lara, we, almost got, we almost got a Lara leap right there oh my god it was so close but mendoza not having to show off the arm too much today but he shows it off right here to johnny johnson in a situation where you have no much time left then mendoza again on oh. fourth down jimmy johnson as it goes under 20 seconds these taquitos will just not die then with the crowd booming on their feet they need a play the defense comes up huge it's a sack by Jeremiah Cervantes and company people people leaders back there then one play you gotta have it incomplete Saints run on the field on the brand new Clark field that they get their first ever playoff dub in how about the atmosphere here JJ that's how you christen it God, God bless Lara's ground and pound offense holds through with that huge six minute drive at the end of the game that'll send the Saints to the second round where they play St. Pius Matthias in a rematch that was a thriller earlier in the year and an overtime win, so we're excited for that one. For all of that coverage and everything local sports, you got to keep it right here at 562.org.